Hi guys, today's reading is going to be a love message and it's going to be um, a message for those of you that are in no contact, no communication with your person. So we'll take a look and see um, what are their thoughts, what's their energy um, and what messages you might need to know regarding this situation. It is going to be a general reading so please keep that in mind. You'll know it's your reading if the messages resonate. Uh, for those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Email address is going to be listed below the video. At the bottom of the deck is temperance. Um, it feels as though you can't see that. It feels as though this person is um, you or perhaps this person is taking the time right now to focus on healing, especially with temperance energy. Um, and it feels like, in a way, this no contact, no communication, although you or your person um, are struggling with this, in a way, it has this healing energy to it. In a way, you are giving yourself or you're giving each other the time and the space to heal. Um, heal whatever wounds uh, that are still festering. Heal uh, whatever is unresolved or whatever it is needs healing. This is also a message to the person that is often the one who's always trying to fix things, is always trying to heal things. Remember that the healer also needs their own healing. Okay, his or her own healing. This person is struggling. Your person is struggling with the no contact, no communication. Um, they're struggling not being able to talk to you or not being able to see you. They're struggling with the separation. Something about the separation also feels a little temporary but needed in a way. Um, could be your energy as well. You perhaps are struggling. Um, swords govern mental energy. So even though this person might not be talking to you, they are thinking about you, okay? You cross their mind a lot more often than they care to admit. This person does think about you a lot. They think about you frequently. Energetically, I feel like they're in a bit of a dark space. I feel like whether this is you, the person that I'm connecting to, or whether this is your person, or perhaps this is the energy of uh, the both of you. But it feels like someone here is in a dark place. Someone here, it's kind of like this depressive state. It's this heavy state of regret or guilt, uh, shame. And it's an energy that weighs this person down. This is also, I feel like, disturbing this person's, not only their inner peace, but I feel like it also disturbs their sleep. Um, and I feel like this person might be getting a lot of restless sleep or not getting enough of sleep. This is someone who I feel like maybe thinks about you a lot, a lot more than they care to admit or a lot more than they, um, a lot more than you know. In a way, I feel like the thoughts feel a little bit intrusive. So in a way, I feel like this person is trying to not think of you is trying their hardest to forget you, is trying their hardest to move on, and is trying their hardest to just not pick up their phone and reach out and talk to you, um, contact you. 
I feel like they're fighting it. It's uh, this is something that they're fighting. This is something that they're trying, they're struggling with, and it's something that they're resisting. This person thinks about you a lot. I feel like you're on their mind constantly, frequently, um, and they have a lot of regrets. Okay, whether this is your energy or this person's. This is someone who has a lot of regrets. This is someone who wishes that they had done things differently. The Four of Swords is a wounded soldier that lies at rest. So I feel like there's still some healing. I feel like there are still wounds that fester. Your person is having a hard time. Like they're really, really struggling. This no contact, no communication is driving them crazy. And they're really struggling with this. I feel like you guys were really close and used to talk a lot. And now all of a sudden they can really feel like this empty space. It's almost like a void. This person is really struggling. Um, they're hurt as well. Swords, swords are a weapon, right? So it feels like this person is really hurt by the separation or by the disconnection. Um, they're really hurt by the fact that they hurt you as well. This is someone who I feel like is using this time apart to reflect, to reflect and judge their actions. Because the truth is the both of you played a role in this breakup, in this separation. It takes two to tango, right? Uh, and I think this person now has nothing but time on their hands. Now that you're gone, they have all this time to think what went wrong, you know, what they did wrong, what they would do differently. This person thinks about you all the time. And do not be mistaken, just because you haven't heard from this person or just because they haven't contacted you, it doesn't mean they have forgotten you. And it doesn't mean that their feelings for you have dissolved either. I feel like this person is like pulling on your energy. So much so that I think you can feel them i feel like you can feel this person pulling your energy and i think that the reason why you might be thinking about this person a lot is is due to the fact that this person is thinking about you and they're pulling on your energy and you're in tune you're in sync with this person's energy so you can pick up on that you can feel this person thinking about you you can feel this person talking um, about you and this person does talk about you is the thing they talk about you to your family and friends like your name is on their lips and there's something about your name is it quite is it a little different is it a little unique uh or did they have a like a a unique way of pronouncing it there's something about your name there or did they give you a nickname or something um a very withdrawn energy so someone here is very withdrawn, very pulled back, not doing a whole lot of socializing, not doing a whole lot of, you know, not putting themselves out there. I don't think they're meeting new people. And even if they meet and connect with anyone, the thing is they're constantly comparing that person to you. They're constantly drawing comparisons to you. And guess what? No one compares to you. And this person is really struggling with that as well. I do think that there's something about this time, this space, the separation. There's something about this whole no contact stage, this phase that you're in. It feels like it's final, does it not? Does it not feel like this is the end? And for some of you, maybe you have given this person, you know, a multitude. Um, you've given them so many tries, a multitude of second chances. And you've said to yourself, this is it. But somehow, I don't know, I don't know exactly how, somehow it doesn't quite feel like the end. Somehow it doesn't feel like this is it. Somehow it feels like there is some sort of unfinished business. But of course, the thing is, you you cannot heal in the environment that, you know, made you unwell in the first place. You cannot heal in this environment. So... There is something about the fact that you guys have this time apart from each other. There's something quite healing. You have the time to heal. You have the time to focus on you. So that when you guys do reconnect in the future, if that's what you want to do, if you want to reconnect and reconcile, you're, going, you're not going to be the same person. Neither are they, provided you both work on each other. Um, you're going to... You're going to step into a, a different version of you, a more evolved version of you, a version of you that would have healed, a version of you that 
would have evolved that uh, has a lot more self-awareness, that has done a lot of reflecting. I think this person is really hard on themselves and I think that they're using this time right now to really think about what they said or what they didn't say, how they wish they had done things differently, how they wish they treated you differently and how they wish just things went differently. Um, I think they're really hard on themselves. I feel like this is someone who's really hard on themselves. And I think that they're spending a lot of time, they're in their head a lot, okay? So they're spending a lot of time in their head. They're not in a good place. I don't think so. I don't think they're in a good place. I just think they're feeling very insecure. I feel like they're, they're hurting. They are hurting. They're hurting because they're not with you. The silence is hurting them. It's driving them crazy. It's hurting you know, not to talk, not to be able to talk to you or to see you, or there may be something recently that this person has found out about you, and that's like maybe they jumped on your social media and they found out maybe you're seeing someone new or that you're really happy without them. There's something that they recently saw, and I think it's, um, it has really hurt them. It's really, it's not it's nothing you did intentionally or anything but i think it's it may be like a jealousy or they just might be not over you i feel like this person knows that they've lost so much when you walked away and even though even if they were the ones to have walked away from the relationship they know that they lost they you know they lost you they know that they lost this they lost at this game not that it was a game to play in the first place, but I think this person is really pushing a lot of people away as well. They're very, I feel like they're alienating themselves and I feel like not only are they not talking to you, but it feels like they're not talking to a lot of their family and friends. It feels like they're really in their head a lot and you know what, maybe they just need this. Maybe they just need this time to be whatever it is they are working through some things and you know what healing is messy right healing is never pretty it's ugly it's it's a lot so i feel like yeah this person is going through a healing stage i think they're grieving the loss of this relationship i feel like they're grieving the loss of this connection that they had with you and they're also grieving like all the the loss of all the plans that the two of you had for one another because there was a lot of that there was a very big vision right you guys had a lot of plans and a lot of hopes and dreams for one another and for this relationship and all of that has gone all of that has gone out the window i feel like they are very very focused on their work and i think that they are building themselves i feel like they are improving themselves they're using this time to improve on themselves whatever it is that they do for work i feel like they're trying to get really good at this they're trying to get really good at whatever it is that they're doing so that they can become like a pro at this. Um, and I think work is really helpful in a way because it's allowing them to, to, it's keeping them distracted. It's allowing them to focus. When, however, they are not working, they are thinking about you. So I feel like work is really the only time where this person gets to focus and really like laser focus and hone in on what it is that they're doing. And I also feel like it's driving them. There's something it's almost like they want to improve themselves. It's almost like they want to get better for you. Or it's like they want to prove you that, or even prove to themselves that they are good enough for you. And, you know, they do measure up and they can be that and so much more. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a strange kind of energy because it's this, it's, I feel like they're trying to prove to themselves their insecurities or that they're not insecure this person could work with in finances or with numbers or i feel like this person is really using this time i just feel like they are saving a lot of money so they're working really hard maybe putting in extra hours at work um maybe they've recently started a second uh, there's another income stream maybe um 
But whatever it is that they're working on, I feel like it has it's closely to do with the person that they want to become. I feel like they are leveling up and they're trying to improve themselves. Um, and it's interesting that you have the King of Wands here right next to the Eight of Pentacles. I do think that in the future when you'll get an opportunity to reconnect with this person, or perhaps this is you, maybe I'm talking about you here, you're not the same person or they're not the same person that they were, you know, six months ago or a year ago. They're a lot more assertive, a lot more confident, a lot more secure within themselves. They have certainly improved themselves. And I see that this person is becoming a lot more confident in their decisions and in their actions. So I think when you see this person next, you'll be very surprised. They do feel like a like a newer version of them. There is this newfound confidence in this person's energy. And perhaps with this newfound confidence, they may use this confidence to reach out and connect with you. Because there is, underneath that, you have the Ace of Wands, right? I feel like there is still an attraction. I feel like there is still very much a spark. Even though, you know, the flame doesn't burn as brightly as it did at the beginning, right? The chem I mean, you have a lot of chemistry. You have a strong chemistry with this person. You have a strong attraction. And I think that there is still, like, there's still something. You've ignited something within this person. And the fire still burns brightly for you. So there's still an attraction. Um, and it's likely that this person may reach out for a second chance. It's likely that they will reconnect the two of you will reconnect in the future and you will have an opportunity maybe to, you know, revive this connection. Or not even revive this connection, but you will have, you will get a second chance with this person. A new beginning is what it feels like. And that flame will become uh, reignited. I feel like everything's going to be fine. I do. I think even though you're in a no contact and you're in this dark place or you're in this place where it's just so uncertain and you may feel as though you're never going to hear from them or you're never going to see them or you just may feel as though it's the end. Somehow the cards are indicating that everything's just going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. In fact, it's going to be better than fine because the sun card is happiness, it's joy. You're going to be, like, you're headed in a better place. Maybe it's just an, a message for you, personally. You know, this is a message that's unique to you. And if you find yourself in a place where it's a bit of a dark place and you're a little bit uncertain and, you know, you're not you're happy as yourself, this will end. This will pass. It's just a season. And you're, you are going to... You know, you're headed for better times here. A lot of healing in the energies. Have you recently bought a house or invested, or perhaps this is your person? I think that they've maybe bought a home or they've invested it in one um, or I feel like they're really they're very focused on their home um, and just making it their you know their personal space I feel like they're spending a lot of time or perhaps you are spending a lot of time at home but it's not like they're sitting around and doing anything they're either doing things around the house or the three of pentacles energy they're working on themselves they're working on themselves they're working on this they're working on something specifically here they're, they're definitely building on something and it's definitely you know a part of this them improving themselves um all right guys and these are your messages thank you for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now